I was convinced of what I wanted. You need to have non-negotiables. she had a skincare condition. You'll meet someone in this room who will tell you like what she said, I don't have any skincare problem. I don't need to take care of my skin. But you know what? I want to meet you on your 40s when you're having violets and wrinkles and you understand the price of Botox. I understand the price of fine lines, all that. So when you start taking care of your skin, after 30, remember your skin stopped taking care of you from 28 years. Is that clear to them? Okay, then Yeah. 
Someone tells me, please come and meet my friend. I go and I think we're just meeting a friend. Mm -hmm. So that's that, 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 okay. Yeah, that's okay, not that one. This guy tells you his life story. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Good for you. <laughs> okay, tell me what you think about me. And then, I mean, you're doing well for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, uh, so uh, what do you think if you got married? <laughs> result of what I learned from being in other older women's homes and just drawing from their wisdom. I enjoy hosting at home, but I didn't grow up in a home that hosts people to sleep over one, but I learned all that stuff from other people's homes. And now I can host people and host and host and host. I can have over 40 people in my home and I can manage, but I learned all those things in my single season. Um, Enjoy the freedom, guys. Yeah. Thriving in your yeah. <laughs> seriously. Enjoy the freedom to just do your thing. To go to university, university when I saw my first course outline. We are there to that point. I want to come and bench you. Mommy, benching is outdated. Eh? Yeah. Sorry, our thing was it's called a vibe. It's good, huh? Sleeping. Wow. Okay. Sleeping means something else. Anyway, so I have been warned that boys, you know, will come to your room. But after seeing my post outline, I was like, no. <laughs> These boys will have to go somewhere else. Because library, book bank. I, when I saw my schedule, I, I decided not to get born again at that time. But I, I made a cautious decision. No boys at campus. Let's just study. Three years. Surely. So I was really in my books. Of course, there are, I keep saying, girls, there's sometimes peer pressure that I was telling sometimes. So, in a mistake, I, mean, I wrote, was going on dates. I knew I don't want to go on. Right? Mm -hmm. Because your, your room is like, oh, you are going to finish first year and you're going to be dead. What are you going to write about? I'm going to write about the family is like first year. You know, <laughs> getting lost at campus, <laughs> my, my parents' drama. I asked him how she did it. Like, where are we going? He said, dress nice. Yeah, he's only tell us to dress nice. He dress nice. Mm -hmm. Dress. My, my, my room is so excited. They go to me. He was a dress. I come speak to you. Dress nice. Dress a bit kind of like, like, okay. Anyway. Then they have told me, Grace, to have an open mind. I go. I want to get my heart small. But as I know, it's a university <laughs> student. We are going to be open minded. I was I really stayed open minded and I take a part, sit down, pose the waitress and put dance for us a big splash and it pairs also said. I I can't forget because I was shocked because you were the from you. I was convinced of what I wanted. You need to have non-negotiables. If today I ask you you are single, you want to get married. Who do you want to marry? And your only concerns are how he looks, where he works, how his money, how much money he it's not a problem, you're going to get married soon. That's true. Who? <laughs> right? You need to have non-negotiables because you guys marriage is a lifetime commitment. Yeah. The goal is not marriage. Yeah. The goal is a fruitful life. Yes. The goal is a meaningful life. You don't want to get married and wish for your single days. Marriage is a responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. It comes with leaning, like having to lay your life down for someone every day, for another person every day, and think about them before yourself. I think about two years ago, I was going to go, I, yeah, two years ago. I felt like I was going to get a complex, so how come it's me? It can almost go through bad days. It must be you. Uh, and so I think, is it me? But I can't believe that, that feeling quickly, I think I, I, because I love to talk, I rarely keep my feelings to my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So I'll find someone and say, I'm starting to feel a certain way. Uh, I feel like maybe it's me was a problem, how come I don't want to attract such people? Mm -hmm. And the person will just talk to me and say, no, but first of all, I feel like all these people pretend to me the same thing, or they are done with their research, which I do I do this research from? Anyway, <laughs> in, in such a have compassion for my single friends who want to get married, 
I realize sometimes it comes from our background. You know, you are brought up that you're going to go to school, uh, then after school you get married. Okay, I joined an active church, like my, like at 24. At that age, then I spent people are really married crazy. Yeah. There were like seven uh, proposals in my circle. I had, I was more interested in like learning the word, realizing yeah, I've been living a very simple life. I need to change. I was really working, working out my salvation, like reading my Bible, uh, realizing even my views on men were very worldly. Like at that time, uh, even when I, when I thought of a man, I would marry, like, at the top of my head, I think I was thinking of someone like, who provides, who will, the thing is, the whole world sees a man, which was not good. There's something that the world has slipped into our daily living. I feel like right now there's a wave of self-pleasure. Mm. In self-care, mm. they're telling us to, in self-loving, mm. there's a self-pleasure, which is, I mean, why are you self-pleasure? It's masturbation. Why are you keeping it as sweet? Yeah. Fancy name. Mm. And so, being very alert, and I mean, being very alert to what, what the world, how the world is laying to us. Uh, and,